Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm here to do a short tutorial on how to use Power BI to do machine learning. So for today's tutorial, I'll be using this library called PyCarrot. It's a newly released library for machine learning. Yeah, so it's a Python library just to clarify. So the outcome for today's tutorial is very very simple. We'll be using the famous Iris Flower data set. So basically in this data set, right, the goal is to classify three flower types. Yeah, over here. One, two, three. And this is a single source of truth. So uh, clearly, because it's a labeled data, you can clearly see the distinct cluster. One, two, three. And this is a predicted cluster over here. And you can see the result is pretty close. You can clearly see that there's three clusters, even though the color doesn't match, but the most important uh, thing is that the computer is able to recognize that there's three distinct clusters over at this this graph. So the before we continue, you must have this three rec prerequisite in order to do this tutorial. So I just show you how I I will just assume that you have Anaconda and Python three installed, and I will show you how to install the PyCarrot package. Yeah, so basically, I go to Anaconda Prom. So you can actually use any environment. So for myself, I want to use uh, my PyCarrot environment. So here, I just need to key in the pip install PyCarrot and you enter and you let it run. So it will be much faster on my com because I have installed this package before. And next, you need to configure uh, Python on on your Power BI. So I show you how to configure it. So over here, you go to Option and Settings, Option. Oh, it's taking some time. So you go to the Python scripting, and over here, set a Python home directory. So basically, I need to find your Anaconda environment. So for myself, I, I'm using the PyCarrot environment uh, which I installed my uh, my PyCarrot library. Yeah, so you have to find where is your library and put here. So you go to browse and and you can just find it yourself. Yeah, so different uh, for different computers, the directory is is installed differently but in general uh, this is the general directory that you'll be stored so search it up and and set this as your home directory so just press ok so uh, afterwards after which you need to go to this website the calendar.com to download the Data set, the iris flower data set over here. So you, you sign in, then you just click this download button. Okay, so it'll be it'll be here. Yeah. So when you open it up, okay, you'll see this data set over here so you can see that here is the label data and here is the attributes yeah for the flower of the flower type so what I need, need you to do is to save this as iris underscore label to know that this is the label data you save it okay for me I've created it before and next thing you need to do uh, is to remove the label the labels and save it again. So now you save it as Iris no label. Okay, so I'll be replacing mine. So after which right you close everything and go to Power BI. So what you need to do right is you go to get data. And go to CSV. And you go to the down directory over here you'll get your data set 
So you just need to uh, load these two uh, data in into your into your Power BI over here. Okay, so after loading it in, right, you reach this place. Yeah, you reach here. So you have these two data set over here. Iris label and iris no label. As you can see, the, for the iris label data set, you can see the species here. Whereas for the iris no label data set, you don't see the species. So now what you need to do is is to uh, enable PyCarrot to import PyCarrot library and predict what is the cluster over here. Okay, so it's simple. So you go to transform and click this run python script here. Okay, so you go back to my my slides over here. So you just need to copy this and insert into the python script. So basically uh, this line uh, states that you, you are importing the clustering function of PyCarrot and this is the function to get a different cluster and I state that there are three type of flowers that I want to identify that's why there's the number of clusters is three and you load your data set in and once you press OK oh there's a notification okay you need some time to load this So you will get a result under value. So to see a result, you need to click here and click the expand button and click OK. And wait for a while. Yeah. Okay, so now right, this is the old data set. So what I need you to do is to delete this because you don't need already. So as you can see, <clears throat> over here is the attribute of the flowers. One, two, three, four. And now you have this new predicted cluster over here. Yeah, so this is uh, what has been predicted by PyCurrent. And it's as simple as that. Yeah, it's just two lines of code and you are able to do machine learning. So uh, in order to plot this graph, right? You need to change these values, these four values, into sorry, into decimal numbers. Yeah, if not, you won't be able to plot the graph for this result. So it takes some time to actually change this. So yeah. So currently, right, uh, all these values are considered text value, as you can see A, B, C over here. So given as text value, right, uh, Power BI will not be able to plot a scatter plot because scatter plot, uh, the x and y axis must be uh, integer or decimal value. So after loading, okay, it takes a while to load it. You go back here so so initially so you select your visualization which is the scatter plot over here so I go to no label I select pedal width as my x axis with the same as here and select the sepa length over here as my y-axis so as as usual a power bi will aggregate the data so you will see only a single point here so what you need to do is to click here and click not don't summarize yeah and then you will see the scatter plot 
So this is the data before prediction and you can see it's exactly the same as the source of truth just that it's not labeled. So how to see the predicted data? So you just need to click the cluster and put it inside legends and boom you get the predicted result immediately. So as you can see the predicted result and the source of truth is very very close. You can see three clusters and the cluster is pretty defined. Yeah, one, two, three. It's only this portion, uh, this portion where the boundary is more blurred. Yeah, between these two species. So with this, I come to the end of my tutorial. Thank you for your time.